<laughs> when a nigga has got the right woman, trust me, like your shit becomes you an shine. order. Like I knew them yes. niggas were not in order. Like the, yes. I, I grew up with them. I know my niggas. I know yeah. my niggas. But when Nadia was there, yeah. then, then, I know my boy. Like yeah. he was, he was in line. No, man. like this is not he a was, lie, hey. It's not he a was lie. Li- I, Nadia, take my. But niggas. I feel. Like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. But it's what? What do you say? I feel like when he came with Zinti, he was in line. Is that not right? Yeah, no, I feel so too. You don't think so? What? Look, I, I, I do, I do, I do, I do have a thing. Look, I do have a thing about, and I mean, uh, uh, podcast and chill. Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Yeah. So you were saying, Tiamo? What was you saying? Uh, yeah. We we're talking about, you know, if your artist goes wild on on social media. Oh, yes. 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 How do you handle that? Your artists have never gone wild on um. social media? Nota? Nah? Nah. All right. Uh, it happens. And I think also um, one of the things is that, and you're talking, obviously, you, you're saying very much to AKA, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. He's very authentic. He's very himself. He's not like, he's not going to, you know... Uh, Censor himself, yeah. because you know uh, whether it's a platform or social media that that allows you to amplify, right? So you amplify your music, you amplifying whatever you need to talk, your personality, your, your personality, and so forth. So that really works in that regard, you know. Um, unfortunately, with great power also comes great responsibility, right? I feel like this is a PR answer, don't you guys? Because so? <laughs> I was about oh. to say, fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? With, with great power, and and he's he's a man with great nah, power. So you obviously, 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 you need to you need to you need to then watch. You know, you need to you need to you know see what you talk no, about and, yeah, and what, you, what you put out. So give it to us I mean, straight. look, we do have we do have the conversations. We do have the conversations. Sometimes it might be too late. Already, I'm thinking once you once you tweet it, right? And I do have like uh, every notification, every tweet that goes out, mm. and it's too late because somebody has really screen grabbed it. Mm. And what do you do as Tiamo? What do we do? I mean, one of the things that we do, it's really, what is, how is it really going to affect anything, right? So if it's really going to uh, affect the brand, we then communicate to the brand, like, yo, this is what's happening, you know? Yo, Reebok, by the way, this is what's happening, and we just had to address it, and we had to address it, like, as a person and so forth. So I think it's also, it's, it's based on what you currently have at the moment. So we've got a great relationship with Reebok. We've got a great, you guys got a great relationship with Reebok? Amazing. Can well, you amazing. not see me? Clean. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, yo, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> We on some, got you. We on some Reeboks. <laughs> no, 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 what no. what what you wearing over there, man? I'm no. wearing puppets. No. 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 What are those? What are those? <laughs> I got you. Hey, hey, yeah, shut the fuck. Yeah, yeah. UK nine. You I look at UK nine. I met a, a Zambian vice president wearing these at signature. Hey, of course, hey. that's gonna be his no argument. Doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're all like that. Nah. <laughs> I was the only person. How, how was AKA <laughs> when, when, when he was dating Banang as opposed to when he was dating Zinte? He was at all times very happy. With who? With all times. Both of them? All times. Mm. How? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's a, a very relevant question because like, you know, we're talking about you're yeah, yeah, now managing or partners with someone who is now in the spotlight whoever they date will mm. now become your business like mm. if yeah. if AK is with Bonang now at a gig you are now both of their road managers because yeah. you know correct correct you know, yeah. Yeah. those are big brands yeah, yeah. Y- y- those are big brands and even if it's not and even if it's brand, not that even if it's someone you don't know mm. even if it's a uh, like you know, you know what I mean you want you to protect have to, you still have to make mm. sure that they're all safe you know uh, we go to gigs we're on the road all of us mm. I mean whether I mean why don't you include the band? Because I think everybody who's part of the travel party anyway would be safe. Yeah, but the, 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 the band, they're there, they're paid, they're working. But now a, a relationship, well, a partner well, is something well, that's like... Well, in that sense, like, it depends uh, really how you look at it. But then everybody that you're on the road with, then they need to be safe. Especially if you're a road, man- if you're the, uh, a road manager, then the artist, you know, it's your principal, needs to be safe. Um, the partner needs to be safe and every band member. Can I? You know, I experienced um, Bonang and AKA together at Math Town Heights and for me it was such a pleasure and I don't know if it was because of you Tiamo because that was like the best experience I had I was doing um, is Math Town Heights happening this year we need that book yes in September 
after Kororo. Kororo? Yes. And you're Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Yeah, but like, that was like a pleasant experience. I'm just saying, and I'm not, I'm not even playing devil's what. I'm just saying, as like an artist liaison and slash stage manager, that experience for me was so pleasant because aka one, you need to understand how professional he is. Mm. When they say, Sound check starts at two o'clock. He's there at quarter to two. Yeah. Whether he's there or the band is there. And it comes like, out when he performs. And it comes out when he performs. So when they said, okay, performance time is at, with the mayhem that was happening in Mafeking and Bonang was emceeing at the same time, I was just like, we can write a book here because this professionalism I've never seen in my life. So here's, here's a trick. Here's a trick that I use with all of, my, all of the artists. All of the artists. I tell them the incorrect time. So if a sun check is at 12, <laughs> I'll tell them that our sun check is at 11.30 because they're not the ones communicating with, with the promoters on, mm. on times. So like, yo, man, we need to get there and we're actually going to get there late. Yeah. Mm. Late. It means like two hours earlier than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that worked and, and began and to some, you. Some, I mean, so, some, sometimes they'll be so eager to go out there and then it's just a long, I mean, it won't hurt you to get out there earlier anyway. Yes. You know? let, let's um, talk about, okay, so now you got an artist and then you guys start developing a relationship. Mm-hmm. For example, I mean, you do some work with Major League. Yes. How was it like when you dated one of the twins? When I dated one of the twins. <laughs> no, I mean, sorry, Nadia, <laughs> Nadia, sorry. Um, I thought you guys were twi- twinning as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whoa, I'm I don't know. know. I <laughs> you with the one twin, she's with the other. Uh, I'm you like, know, whoa, that's, oh, a, that's real a real partnership. partnership. <laughs> like, y'all, partnership. <laughs> y'all go hard. Um, no. <laughs> well, okay, but, but, but would you? What? Would you date the other? The other? Never in your no. life. Take one for the you team. Wouldn't? Absolutely not. You wouldn't take one for the team? Never. Nah. <laughs> what? So who was Nadia dating? Banele or Bandile? Bandile. So you wouldn't hell hal- at Banele? Absolutely. Hell no. Okay, I, I got a question. Let's say now so people don't know that, no, this is Banele here. Because some people don't know. Like, I'm lucky enough to be able to tell the difference between the two. Yeah. But even I used to get fucked up me for too, many years. Me too, me <laughs> too. So, let's say Banana walks into the club and you're like, hey! <coughs> oh, shit. No I, did it, no, I did it a lot. And I was just like, hey! Because, you know, like, <laughs> Bandile and Banele, they're two different personalities. There's one that's nice, there's one that's as holy. Oh, okay. one is an asshole. Banele okay. is very mean mm-hmm. and he knows it. Like literally I've shouted at him to say, oh. Mongena in a room, Bulisa, what's your problem? You don't greet people and you be like, Oh, is it uh, uh. Yeah, I'm no. just like, No, that's fucked up. I won't greet lie. people. You know what that's I mean? That's actually how I know the difference between the I'm close yes. with Bandile. He's my nigga since we were kids. Banele, yeah, because we yeah. grew up around each other yeah. when we were kids. But he's a different character. I, 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 I've never experienced him as an asshole, but like, he's no, very but different. No, but like for me, like, yeah. that's an asshole behavior. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't go into different. a room and you don't greet people. Mm-hmm. And like, I said to him, don't do that. That's yeah, like, we're not brought up like that. That's like, yeah. that's, no, don't do that, you know. And he's just like, oh, I just don't, you know, it's not. I don't know if purpose, I know everyone or, or if they know my brother. Yes, or, I don't know if I know yeah. them. Do you know me? So how does that affect you? Because you're working with both of them. No, it affected me in a very big way, but. Also, also, you don't forget why you're here, mm-hmm. right? I'm How did it affect you in a big way? Because, um, I mean, like, in any relationship, your partner is your right hand or your left hand, you mm. know? And sometimes your man will be like, no, I don't really want to do that. And then it becomes a, okay, so do we really have to do that? Like, literally, it's, be, it's managing two people at the same time. You literally have to be... Oh, I had literally had to be Bandile's friend mm. so that my communication comes in at ease and you don't look at me like, oh my God, you're bitchy friend Pindi or whatever. Because I can be that, but mm. it's easier to be nice. Yeah, it's easier, you know. So it affects business. How did it affect, how did it affect <laughs> like the business and your relationship after the breakup? Yeah. Or d- during the time of breakup? Hey man, Especially I'm because they're both your clients and I'm assuming Major, Major League was your client at the time. Yeah, because and still with is. me, I, 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 really, I really didn't want DJ Zen as a client. Mm. Because if anything falls apart, mm. then I don't want to be... Mm. I think my, my <laughs> up with it was <laughs> that like, it was a, it was a <laughs> natural relationship. That so I didn't nice. have to work with Bandile and Banele. I really didn't. But because Nadia had a good or she has a good relationship with them, she was just like... Friend, these guys haven't done X, Y, and Z. Can you hook them up? 
And I'm like, you see, okay, cool. That's why having a woman, like, I know it. <laughs> when a nigga has got the right woman, trust me, like your shit becomes you an shine. order. Like I knew them yes. niggas were not in order. Like the, yes. I, I grew up with them. I know my niggas. I know <laughs> my niggas. But when Nadia was there, yeah. then, then, I know my boy. Like yeah. he was, he was in line. <laughs> no, man. like this is not <laughs> a lie, hey. It's not he a was lie. Li- I, Nadia, take my. But niggas. I feel. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but what? What are you saying? I feel like when he came with Zinti, he was in line. I, is that not right? Yeah, no, I feel so too. You don't think so? What? Look, I, I, I do, I do, I do, I do have a thing. Look, I do have a thing about, and I mean, uh, obviously, it's a, it's a very famous quote. You know, uh, behind every great man is a ah. Uh, it's almost hey, he's ducking and diving. He can be the <laughs> president of Sata. And you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> Answers. I mean, hello. Yeah, they're asking you you're a right. simple question. <laughs> Isn't that? Yeah, come on. Okay, gun to your head. A, there is a reason why, actually, that there's a thing like that. And, and behind, behind that. Gun to your head. Was, was AK better to deal with when he was with Zinkley or Bonang? It's um, depending on situations, really. He didn't say anything. And here's the thing about it. Here's the thing about it. Um, when he got back with Zinkley, I was not on the road with him. So I didn't oh. really spend a lot of time with him. But... Throughout the whole relationship with Panang, I was on the road. So I can't really compare the two, really. Okay. Yeah, so you and never got yeah. it. And then you know, I heard rumors that you were dating Tabsy. That means we live somewhere, yes? Can no. you confirm or deny? Of course, deny. <laughs> you're not. You're not showing stock. <laughs> <laughs> She's a married woman. Showing <laughs> <laughs> stock also, is like, also, you know, sorry, and I've that, got yeah. a girl. And like you know, yeah, he's acting like ma- ma- no, but no, he's acting like married people question, don't that's cheat. Gonna, that's gonna make. I'm just <laughs> thinking about your question. It's gonna make my girl feel uncomfortable. She's like, how? Oh, why are they <laughs> asking me about <laughs> another you know woman? Do you know who the girl when, is? When like, I don't know. Do you wanna girl. break it? Do you wanna break? <laughs> no, no, break no. It on? I don't oh, you don't know who my girl is. No, you don't know. No, who is it? How? Like, yeah, can I say it? Can we break it? Can we break it on you? Yeah, break it. Sing it. Yeah, sing it. Can I sing it? Sing it. Sing it, Vin. No, no, sing the song. Sing the song. She's not an Afro Soul fan. Oh, so she's in the game? Oh, 100%. Is she big? No, she's like one of the best vocalists. (laughs) 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 Okay, wow, Tiamo. Wow, I gotta know. She's one of the best vocalists. Okay, Nota, tell us. Who is it? Who is it? I mean, we're going to know eventually. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Anyway. That's how you keep him quiet. (laughs) So, okay. Yeah. yeah. I've yeah. never, you, I've <laughs> never, never, ever in my life. How many? 11, 12, 13, 15 years? I've known you. I've never seen Nota so quiet. Speechless. Ever. Speechless. Yeah, it's true. What blush? Even. I, I feel like I should know this girl that do. do. You do. She, she does a song with Dakapo. No, she, she, she do. She, uh, well, what? I mean, um, so many, so many, so many, What's so your favorite Dakapo song? Uh, that one. Pew, where, where I go. Okay, another one. Uh, three, uh, you don't know if I found you. Found you? Yeah. Oh, okay. My nigga. Yeah. Sing first. She found you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my no God. more chasing the wind. <laughs> mm. Alright, cool. Blushing. Uh we better wrap this up, ne? How is the coronavirus affecting you guys? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Corona. I'm gonna stay at home with my girl. Oh wow. All the time. No, it's bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's bad because Cause you survive of gigs, you know, like you're saying, commission. No, we don't survive of gigs. Um, Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is the boys separating the boys from the men. <laughs> and then no, I'm gonna be honest with you. There was a point where um, Nadia said live, you know, and I can repeat it because it's a it's a great goal to say that I don't want to chase gigs so that I get paid and I'm bread and butter is gigs mm. and that's a great vision for an artist because anything can happen mm. whether you get tired whether you don't want to anymore or mm. you break a leg or your voice goes away you need to have a plan b's plan c's d's e f to z you mm. know um it's very important for an artist to understand what the financial scope of the country is looking like of the industry and then of your business. So if you can't multiply through your passion and art, mm. you're mm. wasting your time. Yeah, yeah, no. So I need to get myself a pin. A, a, eh? a, a, <laughs> a lot of people are going to like feel the brunt of it because another yeah. thing is that, you know, we never talk about like when things are good, you could be making a shitload of money. Mm. Like, you know, there was a, a point in time where Casper said, uh, I make a million a month. You make about 500K. And at that point, I was like, that's, uh, maybe he might be stretching it a bit. And then it got to a point where, like, you know, 
you could be raking in three million in a month of mm-hmm. gigs. You know what I mean? And that would be your primary like source, source of, of income, income, revenue, mm-hmm. and everything else. And those peaks happen, and you know, it does go down after that. So the industry as a whole has been very much like based on getting gigs. Mm-hmm. You want to have your song charting on radio because you know that will give you gigs. Like promoters book artists who are played on radio. Like yeah. that's number one standard. Doesn't yeah. matter how much you stream because they don't understand that. They don't know that. And plus, our streaming numbers are not at the level where it's like now international standards you know you're not screaming at little yadi level even if you're the top artist in south africa so there's that unless you're a reese you're not screaming at streaming for real little yadi level you're not even even a reese is not even like like paying four people's salaries and 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 Relax. You you know of the streaming like the only artist I'd really say is really fucking up the streaming game is Elaine, um, Ooh, but yeah. other than uh, her, not 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 yet. No 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 no. Oh, except yet. Except, or is it with the Apple no, Music? Yo, okay, cool. Okay. Yo, okay, cool. Yo, I'm, her I'm numbers. Of, of, her her consumer, numbers. Consumer yo, her numbers shake but tables I know, I know, internationally. I know the numbers really? are crazy. Her numbers shake tables internationally. Good. Like you know, it's not like a big she's vendor, ne? Yeah. Okay. Where she's too young for Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, you actually right. Yeah, she did say. Too young for who? Jeffrey Epstein over here. How old is she? She's twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Oh. Like yo, she's like, and she's really fucking it up on like a real serious level, and like with just an EP. You know what I mean? Really shaking the game. So artists like that are now the new generation of artists who say, I'm streaming so well, I can pay for my career. Mm. I don't need to gig mm. and everything mm. else. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. Whereas everybody else is really on the other end. I mean, like with, with I'll say with most of the Dakar projects, we sold records in every single format. We sold CDs, like thousands of them. Mm-hmm. We sold um, MP3s, millions of them. We sold ringtones. Streaming. Millions and millions of them. You know, we've done millions of streams, mm. right? But, you know, we haven't gone like 10 times platinum on streams. Like, we've done maybe like a couple songs that have Is gone that platinum diamond? just of streams. Well, you know, whatever. <laughs> it, it, diamond, 10 times platinum, you know. It, it, yeah, it is diamond. Um, but, I mean, like... You can't really say the streaming has really taken off yet. And a lot of the older artists, they're like still stuck on the older formats, ring back tones and everything else. And that's where they make a lot of their money. money. Yep. And therefore, gigs what, are what very are ring important. Back tones? Ring uh, back tones. Ring up. Ring back to oh, like oh, is that a big thing? Yeah, yeah, is that a big thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, wow, I dude, that's how yeah. you go, diamond. That's <laughs> wow, really. if you work in the transporting business, you understand. Yeah, mm. so you know Make the subscription fees <laughs> are not <laughs> really <laughs> the subscription fees are not really taking care of artists on a local front on a grand scale, but they will get there. YouTube, it will get there. Samro, really Samro di- doesn't pay the like, pot. Even that is not really like it's not like if they if you get a hundred thousand rands from Samro in a year, dog. Like oh, what is a hundred thousand rand okay. in a year? Okay. Yeah, in a year, you know, yeah. it's like you know yeah. eight thousand six hundred, mm. like a month. Mm. No, yeah. so that's not that's not really like where you want to see yourself like earning your money from Samro and everything yeah. else. So gigs are really, really for the majority of artists and. The majority of artists aren't big brands like Nadia. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, Nadia is a big brand. Why you doesn't Nadia understand? have her own fill-up? Like, you know, AK does No, no, no. Wait, sh- wait, wait, wait. Before we're getting there. Okay. We, 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 do, I mean, she's selling clothes at fucking sports scene, dog. Yes. Mm. Imagine how many kids dream of buying clothes at sports scene. Mm. Never mind actually having their own name on them. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, like... She's winning in other avenues. Mm, and that's why, yeah. like, Abu Pindi... So like, not everybody has to fill up. You, no. you don't yeah. all have mm. to sell tickets. You don't all have to have gigs. You don't have to sell CDs. Everyone needs to find what, what they're good at. Good at. And, and excel in that. Yeah. You know what Got I mean? You. You, like, at the end of the day, whether or not Nadia has 10 million streams, if she walks out into the street, all the kids losing their fucking minds. Mm. All of them. Mm. You know, and their parents. Especially yeah. the dads. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody. Yeah, because dads need to... True enough, though. True enough, though. Like that and spend the guap at the... Oh, le- I saw Braga clothes at Spot 100%. Scene. I'm going to buy them for my daughters. 100%. You know, all of those that my wife knows about and 
even those that they don't know about. So I told you about Nota. He's here for me, you, and you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, just how, how does it come about when you guys do tracks with like international artists? I think that's we've never had really. I mean, by international, we pay them I mean, a lot of money. About, um, I mean, we've done a lot. Like Spirit with Wale. With, 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 with um, Nigerian. Yeah, um, well, I mean, y- I mean you, you, you cannot pay. You, you can do one with a, a relationship, but you spend yeah. a lot of money. Because yeah. a friend of mine told me that AK could have done a track with Drake, but he just didn't have the money to pay Drake. He should have paid the money. That's <laughs> fucking <laughs> Drake, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if, that were, if that was true, he should have paid the money. <laughs> Spilt the coins. Um, it really depends. Look. One, you want to get um, gone for like a... Did you know about that, by the way? No, I didn't know. I know about it. Because I... I am in contact with the guys, so I would have probably... But then also you want to do it at the right time. You're in contact with Drake. You want to do it at the right time. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Just the our people... Look, you want to do it at the right time. He's in contact with Lucian Grange. Who's oh, dead no. now? That's a guy who got coronavirus, and I'm definitely not in contact with him. You, 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 you went to positive. his Hall of Fame he, thing. He tested, he tested positive for... I know, for, but for, you went to his Hall of Fame so star thing. Like, you went to the matter. star. It's like, it's like your He's boss, the right? boss of Universal. Like the boss of Universal. But it doesn't like, matter. And Mr. Drake is directly signed to Universal. I love you, bro. Therefore. So a Drake, a.k.a. collaboration is in the works. I'm going to get a deal at Universal. A Drake, a.k.a. collaboration is in the works. That's basically what you're saying. So who are you talking to then? No, I'm just saying that. No, I'm saying, I'm giving you the steps. So if you want to get a collaboration, and um, global international collaboration, yes. I'm saying the first thing you should be going is creating that relationship, right? It makes it so very easy to work with the artist because then mm. that artist will gladly say, yo, we're putting out this record, right? You don't mm-hmm. need to pay them extra to post yeah. about oh, it. You okay. don't need to do that. And know? the relationship is not with the manager. It must be Drake the and artist. AKA. Oh, yeah, they okay. must be like... Oh, mm. buddy. I ain't buddy. Yeah. Because yeah. mm. if you've got a, 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 a go between who is yeah. the person who actually we has the relationship. It's annoying to them. Exactly. If you, ha- if you have got like, like we use the, a lot of agents, mm. and the agents are the people yeah. that have got the relationship. Annoying. You know, now they don't understand how things yeah. should yeah. work. So and I'm an and then artist. You can have a fallout. I get an agent who's in touch with these people. Mm hmm. Pay the money mm-hmm. and the song comes out. That's mm-hmm. why the hide happens. That's, yeah. that's the long way through. No, it's oh. not the long way. It's a short way. And it no, could but be, I'm it, saying it if, if, Nadia, if Nadia, because in her album she has mm. a stiff London. Okay. Yeah. If Nadia goes to um, ah, that happens to a lot. the UK. Because she, she went, went to, to the UK, UK and they met. She went to the UK. Like, oh, she went to the studio. Nadia from Africa. She literally said, this is who I am. And then they literally made music that night. Yeah, that happens too as well. I mean, we've got a couple international collaborations that we've done like that. But I mean... Yeah. We haven't released. Does it bear fruit? Yeah. Yes. Does it? Relationships. No, no, no like I mean, I mean collaborating pay, pay, with an international. Mean, paying, yeah, paying, for, yeah. paying for it? I mean, oh, yeah, paying for it. it does. It's an, an exchange. There's a lot of, in, a lot of these American acts actually charge feature fees. Mm-hmm. Questa also charges a feature yeah. fee. Wow. Yeah. A thousand yeah. dollars. Mm, Ten. Hey. Look, it does, it would make, it would make sense to, to, yeah. to, 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 to make payment, right? Because then I'm. Um, you gave Nadia one for free though. But okay. like is because of the relationship. But, like but either way, the they're niggas that are paying ten thousand dollars to have Quest on a song oh, to wow. have them come to a video, yeah. an extra five thousand US. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was in Nigeria and I heard like three Questa songs in Nigeria, and I was just like, Questa. <laughs> that was a lot of money. Those songs you'll never hear them in South Africa. Mm. But mm. the money will be spent here, though. Mm. <laughs> so you you don't play in that field. Look, also I think I think it needs to. It needs to be a right, right, right time, right, right timing, and it needs to also be the right collaboration that really happens. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it, you don't want to force it, mm. right? You don't want to say just because I know I c- I've got mm. contact with that guy, mm. I'm gonna make it happen, mm. right? And also, what you want to do is that you want to, you want the other artist to really believe in that artist. Okay. Right? Say, Yo, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna really yeah. support you. Synergy. Yeah, the synergy, yeah. right? And and obviously on our side, we're looking at okay, cool, we're gonna invest so much. Oh. 50 US dollars. Oh, Drake is going to be on and we're going to be... 50,000. Yeah. 50,000 US yeah, dollars. Yeah. <laughs> right? And I, I yeah, I'm just... I'm just, I'm just I'm, I, I, really, I really think... I really think that. Yeah. I really think that one, if there's a relationship between the artist, it really like works seamlessly. It goes know? a long way. It goes, it really I, goes I won't a long lie, way. but what Sam yeah. was talking about, like, it won't happen unless someone paves the way. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, the reason why we needed to get the... the Run it up. I hear what you're saying. But if if that precedent is not set, let me tell you, if that precedent is not set, I understand this is spending time. Sometimes you don't have time. We're in South Africa. We're at the bottom of Africa. Mm. It's a 14-hour flight to New York. Mm. Like, it's unimaginable that a South African rapper will have a song 
like with Rick Ross, with Rich Homie Kwan, with Wale, and shoot all those music videos in South Africa, in his own hood, at his grandmother's house, mm-hmm. and everything else. Imagine how much that influences the young hip-hop kid who's making hip-hop in South Africa, Too who's much. got global dreams. Someone has to pay those school fees. Too Someone much. has to make it possible. Someone has yeah. to benchmark that deal. So, so that's the that next artist. Uh, who? Well, who benchmarked it? No one benchmarked it for Questa. The mm-hmm. first person who benchmarked it, I guess, would be Double HP, and he paid like a like oh. for ten thousand U- US dollars for an for old Nas, Nas verse. <clears throat> and then we knew that okay, fine, we gotta do it differently. But yeah. we did it ten years later. You remember Double mm-hmm. HP been a legend yeah. ten years yeah. before yeah. Yeah. we yeah. even were known about. Mm. You know what I mean? Like that's the biggest. Like Double HP is bigger than Mendoza. Mm. You need to understand. Like that is the biggest yeah. star we've ever seen. Like as a solo hi- dude. Whether it be Stim or Roll, mm. he pulls up in a fucking Porsche. The first time you ever see a black man driving a Porsche on a TV ad wow. is Double HP. Whether it be his status, mm. Deodor, like Come the on. levels that yeah, Jabba yeah, did, yeah. whether it be playing with a band, playing yes. at all these big exactly. jazz festivals. Yeah. Yeah. Jabba did all of that shit. We watched him do that on the first track on Questa's first album. His mm. line is, I want to b- blow up and be bigger than Double HP. Because yep. yeah. that's the level yeah. Yeah. and wow. i think and, and he was so humble uh, as well because also he was also he also jumped on victory lap remix mm. um he was just to big like, up to pick up yeah to pick up and, and he did the same, he did the same with 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 casper when he actually put him on the road yeah. right he actually got him on the road say yo you're gonna you're gonna come perform with me and so forth and yes. i think for those people who really never met whp that's one thing you should really take mm. from him like Yo, that guy actually wanted to put other artists. And he paved the way. Artists. He paid the school fee. He did yeah. shit that he couldn't afford to get paid back for. Yeah. Mm. And that were just big deals and we had to see them. Nigga had A. Marie yes. fly down to in be in video. his video. Yeah. Yeah. Before, before there was ever an idea that a uh, Wale shell, needs to come and shoot Spirit. Yes. Campaign. It, it, but, <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying that he got, he got money. He, got, he, he got is that big of a brand that, yeah, of a, that exactly. Shell would put yeah. money behind exactly. him. You know what I mean? Like, for that level to think, actually, you know what? Fuck it. We can't even fly to the States. Wale needs to come here. We need to shoot this. We need to show mm. this thing. We need to have this vision for it and whatever. Obviously, budgetary constraints, it was cheaper to have him fly here, mm. actually, and be able to make to him make more money yeah. out of gigs oh, yeah. as well Once, on top of yeah. that. So it's a whole entire package deal. It wasn't like, yo, we're paying you for a verse. Nah. All right, we're cool. I want, I want to talk about uh, the next deal. nota, like upcoming managers right now. But before that, I want to take an off ramp. There's this kid, like, I don't know much about the hip-hop game, but when I see it from afar... He just, he fascinates me. And I just want to hear what you guys think about this kid. A. Reese. Like, I don't know what he's doing, but I just find it fascinating. He's like breaking all the rules. So in your field, would you manage someone like that? Like, what, what, what's your guys' take on A. Reese? Okay, let me speak. Because I'm sure you guys have a lot to say. I'm sure. I don't know I, much. I'd love to... Um, have a partnership of some sort with Aries. I don't know about manage. I don't know about, you know, a whole 360. But purely because there's something about Aries that a lot of people didn't pick up earlier. And now it's like literally coming up. To and, the full. You know, to the full. And when you have a talent like that, don't sleep on it. So for people who've been trying to um, hone his talent or like manage him or whatever there's still a lot of work that needs to be done for him to actually discover the full potential because i feel like we've only hit the surface with aries aries is amazing and you hear it where where the kids are in charge and kids are in charge in the hip-hop game they are in charge if you're hot you're hot if you're not humble la la go Mm. do something else you know what i mean but like aries has got Like Aries is in charge Aries. right now, and without efforts, like literally, I feel like his effort is like ten percent. He just goes ten percent, and then the AKAs, the nasty C's, and everybody wakes up and say, "Whoa, what's going on?" You know. So whoever's managing him right now, I'm saying, come on, give come this child it. a piece of time. I I think I think he would have actually gone further than he is if he had stayed with Ambitious, actually. Right, I think I, I, I kind of like saw the strategy. <laughs> no, no, I kind of like saw the No, strategy. I agree with you. I agree with um, you That they were going for. Um, <clears throat> and at the moment, I would say that Nasty C probably is 
with the kids in hip hop, he's really ruling it. And yeah. but then nah. I would have, nah. I would have, I would have. Um, I'm nah. not talking to you, Nota. Can't say that. You can't talk about a reason and say Nasty's ruling. No, hold up. Because like you know, there's there's a reason that are watching this podcast, and I'm telling you, when they hit you in the comments, you you. No, no, no. I I really I really think I I really know that they were definitely gunning for Nasty C spot. Right when they were putting together the Aries strategy at Ambitious, right? Mm. And I know him from the days of um, PH Rox, right? Before he blew up, and I think Cooley was the first one of the first people to really co sign him and really get him. And then, yeah, he says in his raps how he yeah. really, how he really then changed and switched when he got to Ambitious, maybe because of the AR. Um, efforts, uh, ANR efforts from from the camp. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yes. But then, kind of like it, kind of changed. And then, I think he got back to himself without a strategy when he when he left in business, right? Yeah. But he's really talented, right? Lyrically, um, I think sonically, um, he he could do better. Um, what sonically? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think you could. I, okay. could. I think you could with some production, with some good production. Okay. Um, I think writing lyrically, he's he's pretty, pretty dope. Yeah. But production-wise, he could really, he could really. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you, I'm not quite sure of his catalog, but then every time I think of Aries, I'm thinking Zimbali, Zimbali, Zimbali. Yeah. And that is <laughs> That's a, that, ambitious. And that is the time that he was uh, at ambitious. Mm. You yeah, haven't so. heard Honey Jew? What? What? Oh, oh, yes. mi- meanwhile in Honey Jew. Oh. Meanwhile in Honey Jew. Oh, that's dope. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 I, 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 I won't lie. And, and he's, I know he's, it's he's dope, but I don't know that song. You know, so he already has this community that he that is following him. Right? Yeah, he's already got a this big cult. One. This a cult. big one. This mm. big cult. Yeah. So last night he was training because. Nasty was training. I don't know if Nasty was training because Aries is training. What was going oh, on? Oh, so Mina, when I when I mentioned Nasty C and Aries on the same line, I'm being blasted for. But then when they're training at the same time, I'm we, we you, allow bro. it. Those we comments are it. gonna be hard. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I'll t- I'll tell you one thing. Nah, ambitious really set Aries up. Like him leaving. He already had a fan base. He had yeah. already was the underdog. He yeah. already, everything was built for him. They took him to high schools all around the country, even in Swaziland. He was performing for all those kids. He built up his audience where people could not see it. And it wasn't a radio audience. It was mm-hmm. those little kids that are streaming him now that have yeah. grown, that ambitious, really took him on the road. They gave him the entire thing mm-hmm. to really run with because they were really going up against Mabala Noise who were pushing nasty. But he's oh. still got to be dope, dog. Now, now, yeah, now he, he, wait, wait, wait. They are pushing nasty. And they've got the big budgets. We are ambitious. We also want to go hard with our young artists. We don't mm-hmm. want him to be swallowed or enveloped by this nasty sea, Mabala noise, you know, a water and sanitation, tender money thing. Mm. You know what I mean? That's not what we want. We are not going up against that. We are going up against like something that is outside of the industry where where money is being pulled from outside of this industry to actually back these young kids, you know. So there was a whole entire, like, induced beef that was created by the labels and everything else for convenience and to also big up their brands and also taking from the whole Casper and AKA thing. Yeah. So that's big. Is that, the a, one is that a real beef, dog? What? Casper and AKA? Where are you? It's, a, it's a real dislike for each other. So it's genuine. So... um. <laughs> I mean, beyond that, A. Reese, for me, only, <laughs> only has like one, one song that I can say is a hit, and that's Mgani. Like, everybody knows that. Like, whether you're old, young, the Keith Sweat sample, whatever, whatever. It's Black Coffee. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your whole thing. Don't say anything. Pussy, oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I will say it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no. So, Hossi really put in a lot of effort into trying to make this guy the next big thing. You know what I mean? And it's, 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 it's really sad to see how now, without the structure, right, the level at which he's been able to play has not been the same as you'd say a nasty C who mm. still had a structure, who still had support, who had universal take him or take over that Mabala deal and, you know, fund a whole lot of like, you know, like the, 
a whole lot of a whole lot of you know the progress that he's been able to make you know what i mean in his career at the same time thinking about where a reese was when they both started out you know what i mean mm. he had an album that was out that was hot that was charting and everything else he was doing the sales doing the rounds and now i just feel like there's a reliance on the cult following it's like J. Cole's cult following. Yeah. It's like, it mm. doesn't matter how whack his album is, like, his followers will always mm. stream his yeah. album. You know what I mean? Like, he ain't had a hot album since Forest, Forest Hill Drive. I'm a J. Cole stan. I still love... I agree you with know, you. know, that's the thing. And that's what I see in A. Reese, like, currently right now, in terms of the musical maturity, even, like, just, like, l- the lyricism as well, like, has developed, but not to the extent at which I'd expected it, knowing that he'd started mm. at such a young age mm. and he's progressed. Like, you know, like there was there, there was a song on his old album, like which made me like stop the cars. Like, what the fuck did the kid just say? He said something, some line about Penny Haynes, some line about Penny Haynes without a leg. But Penny Haynes won the Atlanta Olympics gold medal and she had both legs. The one he was referring to was Natalie Dutoy. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, hold on. <laughs> You know, if you're going to make a bar about something, you got to at least do the research. research. Make sure that it's particular Clean. and precise. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, like, he's got a good thing going. He's independent. He's growing at the level that he wants to grow and he's comfortable with. And he's still young. He's got so many years. Imagine, he ain't even 30 yet. Mm. The top rappers that you count are all 30 plus. Yep. 100%. You know, he's got eight years to go to get there. Yeah. You know, eight years to I'm progress. To him. He and, story. You like, you know, his story is yet to be told and he's holding it down for a new generation of artists who are going to be independent, who are not going to get burnt by the label because they'd be like, nah, Avery's got burnt by the label. We will not do it that way. Mm. We'll do it indie his way. And he's like the archetype for that. You know what I mean? Mm. And there's no one in his space, in his league. You know what I mean? He owns that space by himself. And there's young cats that are coming up. You a know, little bit of Shane Eagle. Uh, there's young cats that are coming up. I wouldn't mention Shane Eagle because, like, I, 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 there's not, there, well, there's not a song. I know, know he's okay. got a cult following, but there's not one song I can say is like okay. a great Shane Eagle song that mm. I know. Mm. Okay. Like, I don't know. All right, cool. So we're about to wrap this up, ne? I want to ask you guys, obviously, uh, upcoming managers, what advice do you have for them, whatever. But I cannot leave without asking you, Pindi, as a female in this game. What? How hard is it for you in the in the game as a female? Um, you know, if you'd ask me this question in twenty nineteen, yeah. oh, yeah. sorry, no, I'm no so stress. relaxed. No such a nice show. Not no an no artist. Stress. I'm not an artist. <laughs> um, if you'd asked me this question in twenty nineteen, and which um, Scoop asked me, I would have said no. You know, it's really, really, it's got nothing to do about. If I'm a fem, uh, I'm a female, and like feminism, and blah and blah and blah, and a few months down the line, I learned a lot of lessons, and I was just like, it is different, and no matter how much you get, no matter how much you attain, you can still have the disrespect purely because of the fact that you're a woman. You know what I mean. Um, you you still will go into meetings. I will make I respect us. So, so, so you'll, go into so, so <laughs> you'll go into meetings, and at the end of the meeting, you'll still have somebody who wants to just grab your hand and say, "Oh, a coffee on the side," and let me advance whatever you know. Fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, as a man, I never have to relate to this. Like, I can't even... It's terrible. It's, so, it's terrible. Like, it's terrible. And, like, for me, like, I say it's terrible, but then I've grown to love it because at the end of the day, you have to use what other people would have said is the weakness on time. Oh, okay. Wow, MacGyver. Like, Excuse. Why is it this question where I, I feel like and MacGyver can even have his phone on when I'm speaking? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, it's not that. Yeah. I, I got love for you. But like, for real, it, it was a thing where it was, no, I don't care. And women are this, women are that. We're the same. We're equal and what? And we can conquer the world. It's still tough. It really, really is still tough. And I learned it from watching my artist where she can literally have the most endorsements in one year or two hmm. compared to all her colleagues. And I'm not saying female. I'm saying all of them. Mm, yeah, all yeah. of them. Her peers, her counterparts. And, and she can win awards saying X, Y, and Z. Best, not female, but best of all mm. rounder. But and it's not genre still, specific. And it's not genre specific. Mm. But people can still say, oh, because of, you know, 
whatever factor because you're a woman. It's tough. But at the end of the day, use whatever they think is going to be the weakness to your strength. Hmm. That's all I'm saying. Cool. Uh, the, all right, let's wrap it up. Um, Dope. Tiamo? Dope speech. Thank you, Tiamo. Tiamo? Yo, shout out to uh, Pindi. Ooh, ooh. Pindi and Nadia. Well, well, what's your take on upcoming managers? Because for me, I don't know, I feel like they're all in the game because they didn't make it as a rapper. And also now they just manage it. <laughs> also, no, yeah. they didn't make it as a rapper. You know, because they want to. I didn't make it. I think, I think all, all, the, all the managers. I got I lots of to and We actually had a discussion is that awards. we all once tried to be, to the be artists, rappers, yeah. to be rappers at one time. Um, and some of them started out maybe being DJs and, yeah. and just, you know, grew into. Because to me, it seems like it's a whole space DJ where the managers just want to get the girls, you know? <laughs> is, is that yeah, a thing? I, I think I think that's. I'm that's, talking that's about the young cats. That's a, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's something. I mean, as but a are manager, they managers you also or they homies of the guys? It sounds like it's a homie who's promoting. The first thing is like, yo, this is a business. This is an industry. Yeah. Don't bring your homies to this thing. You know what I mean? Don't don't bring an entourage to this thing. Like that's just like Fifty Cent says it. There's not going to be enough rollies for everybody. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that's when artists like really go down because like they bring their friendships into it mm -hmm. and it's not a business relationship, it's like friendships. Yeah. You know? For so me, friendly. like I have no friends. I'm my own. Not even friend. me. I thought I was just nah, friendly. Nah, 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 like I love you guys. <laughs> like, you know, I love you guys. Like I I, I fight with Pindi over some shit that I, I feel like saying. yo, Pindi, nah, you shouldn't be, you know, but uh, you know and what I mean? But that's up, out no of time. love. You know what I mean? She'll say that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'll be like, all right, cool. You know, that's it. You know, but And then I still win. Yeah. You know, you, st I, I, you still win. You know what I mean? There's different opinions on how to do things. But I mean, it's not so about like, like, now we're trying to protect each other's feelings. We're honest and open with each other. And you're like, okay, fine, clean. I see wh why you did yeah, that. Yeah, but you don't have to be an asshole in your message also. Thank you. I, always hey, an asshole. I, I, always. I, I, I'm always an asshole. I'm always the way. Him and I, like, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> flip the script. <laughs> I, I just keep it honest. <laughs> Banele Nota. <laughs> no, no, no. Like Banele. You guys should be best friends. Like <laughs> no, me and Bandila are cool. Me and That's Banele why you, because you're yeah. opposites. Yeah. 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 But so I, think, I think one thing we should highlight is that as a manager, first of all, before you start managing other people, you should be able to start managing yourself. You Ooh, yourself. So you should, you should, you can't be, you can't be managing other people when you can't, you know, mm. uh, control yourself and manage yourself. And, I mean, it comes back. I mean, I'm not saying there should be a certain trait or managers should be doing this and this and that. But they, they were asking me like, yo, like you just partying it up with AKA. I'm like, yo, what do you mean I'm partying? Like, yo, you guys are drinking, getting girls. And like you just said, I was like, no, bro. Like I'm managing myself first, you know? Mm. Um, and, and I'm I'm saying when I'm on the road, I'm not going to drink, you know? Mm. When I'm on the road, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. On my private time, when I'm, you know, at home, I'll do You drink. Energy. I don't drink. I'm just saying. It's <laughs> Bonello. You're funny, like, I was oh, going to say, ah, ah. <laughs> Neither does black coffee, by the way. I don't, I don't know. I've yeah. never chilled. I've never really... Ch you know what? He does. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Coffee. Does. No. Coffee doesn't drink. Coffee doesn't drink, bro. Okay. You were sober started. when he slept you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, you know. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Environment yeah, allowed. <laughs> Yo, at least if I said that, I'd be like, just, I just smoked some other shit. Uh, I'm sorry, bro. Like, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what I was doing. Yeah. 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 Bella, to slap someone in your soul, but Bella, yeah. Oh, but, I mean, fights happen all the time. Yes, they but do. During but with drunk road, people. Road race, on the road, everything. with drunk people. No, drunk I mean, people fight anywhere. All the time. You don't even know what you're fighting about. <laughs> I don't even know what you're fighting None about. You're so bad. Damn. <laughs> but like, also, can I please just say this yes. kind of quickly? There is no formula. And you know when it's right, it's right. And that's you know true. when that's your person, it's your person. Mm. You don't have to manage the whole of South Africa because they said, I need a manager and you're the best man. They said mm. you're the best manager. Mm. It's okay to say no, no to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like, just know that this is your person. And I'm going to say no to people who I feel like, I'm not going to do this. Mm. I'm not going to vibe or whatever. Energies. Yeah. And that's why the three people here, you can always attest them to a certain face because yeah. it was a long Journey. period mm. and we're still here with the same people mm. purely because we want to be here. Mm. We don't have to, mm. but we want to be here. Mm.
Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. In, uh, no, like I just like to big up like Pindi. Like I mean, for me, I'm a guy, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. to see like <laughs> the progress that she's been able to make. You know, the 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 different you know organizations she's worked for. I mean, even down to an event space like an event like Mafta and Heights. You know, yeah. all you see is refilers. How Pindi, ass, you've never booked me out. Fuck, uh, wait, relax, <laughs> man. <laughs> All you see is refiller's ass and coolie space all over the place. You know what I mean? And you're like, yeah, no. But at the end of the day, everyone who's gone to any of the, like, the Mafta Nights events or any of the events that you've worked with, you, you're you either engaging with Nomsa or, 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 or um, Pindile or, like, someone, they're the ones who are taking care of you. And the women in this industry have really taken care of a whole lot of the artists. They're yeah. unspoken. In the same way in which, like, our mothers nurse us, they are our doctors, they are our sangomas, yeah. they beta us, they do everything, and they never get paid a cent for any of that work. Women in this music industry do a whole lot of shit and wow. nursing and nurturing artists artists you know and for us the guys you know it's very easy Mm -hmm. it's so easy Mm -hmm. because i walk into a room and when i'm negotiating a deal they're gonna give me their money they're not gonna try and fuck me first Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like that's like there's harvey weinsteins everywhere Mm -hmm. and women have to deal with that shit and like it's just sad that you know uh, there's not a lot of men that actually actually are advocating for the women or supporting the women you know i find myself like intervening in a whole lot of female artist issues because of the fact that if it was a woman doing it she wouldn't get this type of response that she needs to get to get business done without someone trying something funny and to be able to go through that and to work as a team as just women is like very important because a lot of female artists as soon as they come into the game the first thing they look for is some man to manage them Mm. and they need to see a pindile and nadia Mm. fucking shit up winning awards Mm. traveling the world Mm. shooting in mauritius you know what i mean and like that's a tax haven as well. So like only people with money go there, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know they they need to see this stuff because at the end of the day, if they don't see it, we won't have women coming into mm. this space and feeling like they can be empowered or feeling like there's someone they can call upon who's been there, who's Your rouges, learned the ropes. You know? yeah. I mean, like the rouges, the, the artists, I'm talking about the female managers. Mm. We're talking about the younger guys that are coming up. Yeah. You know, we need yeah. to yeah. ensure that we're uh, supporting as an industry, mm. you know, these women that are in this place because they're going to make it a safer space for women to enter. Mm. You think about it like this. You are about to wrap up here in the middle of the night. If you're a female artist, you're in a recording studio, you're leaving at the middle of the night. Hey, alone. You need to take an Uber because there's no taxis. Mm. If you take a taxi, you could be raped. Hey, in a, sh- fuck, you could you be, be raped, raped in, in an Uber. Uber. Yes. You could be raped in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Like, now think about having to now record music under those conditions. Hey. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a real thing. Yeah. It's like gender-based violence. It does not just affect like the women that are in the workplaces, the women that are in our homes. They also yeah. affect our artist community. Mm. You know what I mean? And we need a whole lot of strong women to mm. shine. We need a whole lot of strong women to be supported. We need them to be uplifted and we need them to see each other as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because as soon as they start respecting each other, working with each other, it mm. makes it harder for a man to try something. Because like, why would I put up with this nigga that's going to try and grope me every five minutes? Shout out to Tuli. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, why, you know, Tuli. Uh, Tuli like, that, yeah. Yes. yeah, she was meant no. to be here, but she's yeah. not around. Yeah. No, yeah. What about Otani Mali? <laughs> yeah, they probably spoke. She's uh, in this corona. But if yeah. anyone. <laughs> <laughs> if Kazo does sleep anyway, <laughs> what do you think Tuli is sleeping? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Tuli is like the alarm. So, so yeah. No. Yeah. 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 By the way, yeah. just tell people Tuli is she's the manager of Cubs and Maporisa. Yeah. And Maporisa and, and like Aries as well. Aries as well. As well. As well. As well. You know, a whole lot of artists. Oh, wow. she, she started like back in the day, you know, like she, she used to book us for homecoming, I remember. Didn't she you guys work together? Who? With Tuli? Yeah. At Maftown Heights. Mm. At Dream Team, right? No, I wasn't Heights. a dream team, so I mean, oh, you, you you hired me All right. for okay, Mufftown cool. Heights cool. as an independent because yes. yeah, you I know what I mean. And her. that's it, you know. Her and Namsa works as a team, yeah. as, and yeah. they yeah. smash it. They like, you know it's what I mean. Crazy. You know, the event is well run. As mm. an artist or an artist manager, you know, okay, ah, no, we no pindi that. Okay, okay, no clean. Which Do you know that's the first time I've listened to you this whole entire interview? No, but because you're talking. 
it's <laughs> important. It's important. He ain't like, he ain't. You know your rider is sorted. Your yeah. accommodation is sorted. When you yeah. get to the your rooms are there with the yeah. keys there. It's yeah. not a oh no, we booked six rooms. No, oh. that yeah. the deal what is the deal. Is. You know, when or it comes to off. Oh, you understand there's no <laughs> unprofessionalism. Like she gets really to the business and the mm. business is done right. And that's why mm. artists and people trust her mm. and really want her to assist their career. And, and I know a lot of artists listen to this shit mm. and i'm just trying to say for all the artists mm. out there please like stop just stop looking for pindies and st- start creating pindies yeah. mm. or toolies you yeah. know what i mean mm. and true. all the females out there you don't have to be a rapper mm. you really don't you know hone your skills if you're a good organizer you know you're a good communicator you're on time make those calls and stop trying to do what everyone else is doing. Look outside the box. Yeah. Mm. All right, cool. In closing, money. Um, I've heard you on the show more than AKA. When are we getting AKA on the show? Soon. Soon. He's in quarantine right now. So. <laughs> He's in <Getting> quarantine. <laughs> He's that, doing facials. Yeah. So we're going to get him on the podcast, ne? Soon. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Nadia. That's what I said. I was Until my grave, ne? And full stop. Until my grave, I'll always <laughs> apologize to that lady. No, I did it so wrong. Love for you. I sure. did it wrong, and everybody knows. I always say it on the podcast. Can we do, I can apologize. We do one in her house? Yeah, like, we like can. If you pitch or you don't pitch, she don't care. We can. <laughs> we can. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely, we, we can. Do that? Okay. So no, but, but please is. tell her. Like you I truly love it. Was she my podcast in there? Why? You need to speak to me. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah. He's gonna take over the podcast. We're going global. Oh shit! I'm doing the PR. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Distribution. Yes. You cute. Um, we are and we are managing, and, and then here's creativity. Yes. You know, here's a product. This <laughs> the product is a here. multi-million like dollar. Amazing. <laughs> Come on. And you know, it started here. Yes. And it started here. Uh, and 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 then uh, Nota he says I got an interview request when I have hundred thousand subscribers. Okay. Until then, it's coming with conditions. <laughs> and then I met Nota. I met I met Questa the other day. Big and I'm like, hey Chief, when are you coming on? He's like, oh, anytime. Give me a call. You know that the guy he is. He'll be like, yeah, look sauce. Look sauce. And then Nota is busy with. 100,000 subscribers. Ah, the, the thing is this. At the same time, like, you know, there's a whole lot happening. And, like, you capture a very important, like, yes. moment. You know what I mean? And we can't redo it. We can't now do a part two and update. No. So there's a whole lot of things that need to happen first, you know, so that by the time he comes to do the podcast and chill, it's like a groundbreaker. Mm. It's a, and for him, he's not like the internet lit viral yeah. kid as well yeah. so do all the viral kids let them get the numbers up the yeah. AKAs you know get AVs <laughs> on here <laughs> yeah, you know <laughs> AKA no he's viral like yeah. he, he tweets now the world shakes yeah. mm-hmm. South True. Africa shakes you know mm-hmm. he tweets he trends yeah. Same, we now know he's got that now. power yeah. you know what I mean yeah. <laughs> our homie you know he's more yeah. you know it, it's like everybody loves him but they ain't gonna talk about him right, you know cool. what I mean no. That's the love you guys thank you so much for yeah. coming out thank you I, I really really enjoy this. I think this is by far the best interview I've done this year. You say oh, that? Yeah. You say that, thank you, Nota. Nota. You say that on Nota. every podcast. <laughs> 95% of this was Nota and McG. Nota, Nota, Nota. No, no, no you guys, you guys, Nota, yo. This is guys. Nota and McG. 95%. This is Nota a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nota a podcast. No, but I think you need to do a podcast on the real, though. Like, yeah, I'll, no, I'll, I'll, will, fuck, I'll, I'll will, fuck with your podcast, I, I, bro. I, I, I will do one, like, but more on, like, an industry business side. We didn't even like scratch the, the surface here, dude. Yeah, you but got so many I will stories. Do I will do one. I'm surprised he didn't mention that he's from the North. He always mentions that. Well, yeah, my dad's from the North, but I'm a third Jesus generation Joe oh. Burger. I kind of like picked oh, it up Lord. when he said that he grew up with Bo Bandi Bo Banel. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. He was I, like, you, you must get a kid. Oh. Um, like, no, I mean, these people. I mean, okay, let's this wrap it up. Kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like, yo. Hey, man. We know this golden it's kid. Tough, <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> that's the what do you want to say? What do you want to say in closing? Corona. I want to say that make sure that you subscribe to the channel because the T effect is in the building right now. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Subscribe and get us to 100 so we can get Cuesta on. Yay! I just want to say thank you and well done so much. And I can't wait to help you get to the next, 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 next level. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, let's go global. Like yes. worldwide. Let's take it to the top. You know, this is like, I really love everything that you've been doing with all the podcasts and like giving people a different perspective and like the way in which you're going about it. Like go harder. 
and yeah to the top and thanks for giving us this platform i think it's going to be really important especially you know for the young girls you know that mm. you know it, it's like unfortunate that tidu couldn't make it but like the blessing in disguise is that we got pindile in here and like i think that a young girl on the way is, is a young girl a daughter yeah no dude i mean uh, like i women take some care babies, though. <laughs> yeah well, are you trying soon. yeah because <laughs> nah, the really. the, there's a goalkeeper <laughs> <laughs> I try hit the net. It's like <laughs> they're here. <laughs> 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 you the only person who can make terrible sing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 hey, mom, gonna. I've oh gosh. I've got some songs. Eh? <laughs> Singing. But Thirty seconds. Yeah, we need the content ID. <laughs> 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 we are here, man. Podcast with you. Peace. Out. Do subscribe. Peace. Do like, man. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, oh, the best interview I've ever done in my life. That was two hours, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was a little bit more. Thanks, bro. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.